Chapter 4. Every life comes with a unique factory setting. Today, let's further explore the reality of life. First, let's understand a concept called the factory setting of life. The factory setting of life refers to our innate intellectual quotient, emotional quotient, spiritual quotient, moral quotient, and various potentials. The factory setting of life, combined with the growth environment, composes a person's life dimension, which can vary greatly among individuals. So, what is the life dimension? Simply put, it refers to a person's current state of life. For instance, the monkey king and the Buddha are vastly different in their states of life. Monkey King, with his 72 transformations and fiery eyes, has immense supernatural powers. However, he can never escape from the Buddha's palm. After enduring 500 years of suffering and receiving guidance from Avalokitesvara and teachings from Monk Tang, Monkey King's state of life improves. His life dimension changes. Now let's first learn the meanings of IQ, intelligence quotient, EQ, emotional quotient, SQ, spiritual quotient, MQ, moral quotient, etc. IQ is the measurement of cognitive intelligence. It reflects a person's abilities in observation, memory, thinking, imagination, creativity, as well as problem analysis and solving. A normal person's IQ is usually between 85 and 115. EQ encompasses the abilities of self-control, enthusiasm, perseverance, as well as self-motivation and self-discipline. It's worth noting that EQ also covers human interaction. Daniel Goleman, a psychologist with a PhD from Harvard University, identifies five key components of emotional intelligence. Number one, the ability to be aware of one's own emotions this is the core of emotional intelligence. Number two, the ability to control one's emotions and express them in a timely and appropriate manner. Number three, the ability to motivate oneself and regulate emotions. It enables one to elevate from low points in life and start anew. Number four, the ability to understand others' emotions and needs. This is the basis for healthy interactions and effective communication. Number five, the ability to regulate one's own and others' emotional responses. SQ, spiritual quotient, refers to the spiritual intelligence of humans. That is, the ability to penetrate the essence of things, to gain insight and intuition beyond logical thinking. Both SQ and IQ are intelligence in understanding things, but SQ has a higher dimension than IQ. SQ itself also has different dimensions. The higher the spiritual quotient, the higher the dimension. MQ, moral quotient, is the ability to integrate knowledge and action. It determines how humans apply universal principles such as integrity, responsibility, empathy and forgiveness to their beliefs, visions and behaviours. 
MQ encompasses qualities such as empathy, respect, patience, forgiveness, honesty, responsibility, equanimity, loyalty, politeness, humor, and all other virtues. The values of IQ and EQ are not related to the dimension of life. In the same dimension, their values are proportional to abilities. The higher the value, the stronger the ability. The values of MQ and SQ are proportional to the dimension of life. The higher the value, the higher the dimension. MQ and SQ are like two sides of the same coin. MQ emphasizes kindness, while SQ emphasizes wisdom. When they reach a certain dimension, they merge into one, which we can call wisdom quotient. Individuals with lower dimensions tend to judge those with higher dimensions based on their own state of life. For example, those with low MQ but high EQ may show flattery, hypocrisy and strong execution towards their leaders. On the other hand, individuals with high MQ and high EQ show respect, loyalty, understanding and strong execution towards their leaders. However, individuals with low MQ but high EQ may regard those with high MQ and high EQ as being similar to themselves, assuming that they are skilled in flattery, hypocrisy, etc. IQ, EQ, SQ and MQ are collectively known as the four quotients, which are not inherited. Human genes refer to the genetic information on DNA, which have two characteristics. One is to faithfully replicate themselves. The other is the possibility of mutation due to external radiation, leading to diseases. Therefore, human genes can only work on the physical level. They may result in the similarity in the appearances between children and parents. However, the four quotients of children may be vastly different from their parents. Thus, they cannot be inherited. How can the four quotients be reflected in DNA? DNA is composed of molecules. It is a bio-macromolecule that is essential for the development and normal functioning of organisms. It is a chemical level substance, whereas the four quotients are mental faculties whose energy form are not at the molecular and atomic level, but rather at the biofield energy level. The values of a person's four quotients are completely unrelated to the values of their parents' four quotients. For example, parents with high IQ and EQ may have children with low IQ and EQ, and vice versa. Similarly, parents with low SQ and MQ may have children with high SQ and MQ, and vice versa. Some individuals exhibit high levels of all four quotients, which is exceptionally rare. However, their parents may have only average levels of the four quotients. A person's innate factory setting and subsequent growth environment determine their four quotients. However, the factory setting is the main factor plays a dominant role. Of course, external factors such as the growth environment, including living environment, social environment, educational environment, 
etc. are also important for the development and cultivation of the four quotients. In the next chapter, we will continue to discuss this topic.